by the husband and wife team, Tony and Sophie Smith. Uh, they were, I saw somebody fiddling with the gear change. They've now gone out with a clutch problem. So they're, they're out of it. Now, where were they in the running? Not that far up. So 21st place, that's it. Hand in the air for the number 34 bike being retired. The one that would have been ridden by Kevin Schwantz, but now that's uh, Ben Crow on board. Number 12 in your screen. Freddie Spencer and Julian Ide. Julian Ide, that is not Freddie Spencer, but that is Julian Ide, sharing a bike with Fast Freddie, which again is a 1952 Manx Norton, which will be something completely alien to the double world champion. Spencer, I'd be interested to see how he shapes up when he's on board, but now Here we're we back go. with the number five BMW again, with seeing how Klaus Hochlinger sharing that bike. This pre-war BMW proving to be very quick indeed, but it's down in third place because Brogan has gone 36. 7.4. Now that's actually Troy Corsa on that bike. He's entered on the number seven. That's Troy Corsa. Uh, but it is Troy Corsa. An unmistakable crash helmet and the unmistakable style. He's ridden anything and everything all over the world, but he loves coming here to the Goodwood Revival. And who can blame him? Look at this. He's got a wriggle on as he comes back towards you. Great well, stuff. Funnily enough, you know, I need to slap myself around the head a bit because I was talking about Troy Corsa's style on this very bike, and it was the blooming man himself, you know. So there we have uh, uh, singer Ottling on the caption, and uh, it is, in fact, Troy so, Corsa who's come in as a late entry. So but he's moved motorcycles from the number seven, so uh, that'll all shake out. It's only Friday, it's Goodwood. We're all having fun. Well, I've always said it was a dress rehearsal. <laughs> We're all dressed up for the dress rehearsal. <laughs> Look at the bike moving around. Look at him get in the aerodynamic position. 37.48. He's got to be time ticking away. 34, 35, 36. He's going to do it, surely. Yes. He's gone top. 37.369. 37.369. Troy Corsa. Fantastic. That is a lap. <laughs> Look at him. Even quicker as he makes his way <laughs> through Madwick. This is not stuff. Up the way towards Ford Wall. I looked to my right-hand side, I could look over the aeroplanes and the helicopters and I could see him coming into view past the haystacks, coming into the right-hander. This is unmistakable stuff of Troy Corsa, the man currently quickest on a 137.369 and as he comes past me through St Mary's down towards Lavant, great racing, great sheer Unadulterate, unadulterated on. speed. Get behind him, folks. Troy Corsa here now, a BMW ambassador these days, very much so. Not for nothing is he double world superbike champion. The Aussie, the popular Aussie, just loves it here. He's a Goodwood favourite, very, very much indeed. <laughs> just, never mind, Squeeze. he's on the white line, he's on the grass. Squeezing every ounce, the clock men. 110. So watch the Australian come round here on this 1935 BMW, 80 years old. Here he comes round and then down to the chicane where he's going to have to get it all anchored up. And there are no brakes on that bike, I can tell you that. <laughs> he's, he's looking down to see why it won't stop. I can tell you why it won't come stop. On, come, come on, sprint on, towards the line. 128, 129. The no, clock's there's running. a problem. It's oh, gone. No, he's cooked. It's it. gone. Something's oh. happened. He knew as he came out of the chicane oh. that the bike wasn't underneath him. And oh, how close could it have been? Because he was up on the first split. He was there and thereabouts on the second split, and it all went away. He's still on pole position by a positively gargantuan. 0.5 of a second. What a hero. And there you go, he's double world superbike champion on two completely different machines, the Ducati oh, and the dear. Suzuki. And he knew when he came into the chicane that something was not quite there. Das BMW W ist kaputt. <laughs> Absolutely kaputt. What a shame. But if that's a sign of things to come, folks, we are going to be treated to a cracker. But Brogan and Bain have gone top again in the 136's point eight. I mean, I've been insulted by Alan Menu. I've been strangled by Ricard Rydell. Very grunty Nissan engine in the back, as we heard down there on the start line.